Hi people. Sun. No blurring. So here we are. Um, I thought we'd um, teach the weave today. You know, because you can do the standing weave, which really is a figure eight. And it really does help your dog work on both sides. And also there's the, the walking forward weave as well as the walking back weave. So I'm going to try and cover that in this video. But before I start, I just want to say, you know, about Christmas, okay? Especially if you've got dogs that live in a quiet house, please remember for them having loads of people over is really overwhelming. And I would highly suggest you exercise and play with them first so that they haven't got any zip in them or, you know, overexcited. And, you know, give them a bit of space where they can go and, and get some peace because it is overwhelming for dogs. You know, I, believe it or not, I do used, did used to live in a busy house still, but things changed. So, right. I showed you the other day the switch how to change your dog from left hand side to right hand side and I'm assuming by now that you know how to get your dog into gap or between whichever word you use it you know in between your legs so we'll start with the standing weave because all the figure eight I call it the standing weave um, isn't that right, Miss Seddy? Have we got rid of your eye boogers? She goes, yes, mummy, don't keep on at me. She bought me a new hot water bottle because mine burst in the middle of the night and I got soaking wet mattress, soaking wet me, and it was freezing. Right, girly. Okay, let's just give us a bit more down and a bit more faith. Right, Seddy, are you ready? Hello? Right. So to start with, because you know, I think personally the standing weave is the easiest to teach, okay? Because by now you should have got your dog come to your come to your sit. Sit, come on. Right. So you, you want to be standing as you would if you were doing a nice front, okay? Ready, Zeddy? And we go switch. Yep. Okay. Heel yes switch gap heel gap switch gap heel gap switch gap heel gap switch gap heel gap speed it up weave it weave it weave it help your dog by bending your knees he weave it sorry said weave it weave he weave it no we're not going backwards weave it weave it good weave it Faster! Weave it! Faster! Weave it! Faster! Sit. Yes, good girl. So, you can see there, you know, once you've got the heel to switch, and then, it said, we'll go through that again, so, I need some bit of food or something. I've just been, because uh, they're, uh, blending machine for the vegetables is broken up at the shop so I've just been grating Zed's vegetables. If you give vegetables please remember to grate them especially carrot because they can't digest it otherwise. Right so we go from heel to switch okay we go from there to heel good and then we go from there to gap heel gap so you go switch gap heel Gap, switch, gap, heel, gap, switch, gap, heel, gap, heel, and sit. Yes. So that is the figure eight or the standing weave, okay? I personally think that's the easiest way to teach your dog the idea of going through your legs. I taught that to Zed before I taught her the forward walking weave or the walking back weave or reverse weave, and we will show you those. But to teach it, I would teach the figure eight or the standing weave. And you can also get your speed up. Also, you know, the thing is, I taught Zed on weave poles out in the garden just by luring her through the poles like this, okay? And I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Wait, Zed. Um, as well, if I can. Come on, you. Over here. That's it. Right. So... Come on, come forward, Where are we? Yeah, you can just about see it. So you take, right, you've got your dog on your left, you put your right foot forward, okay? You, now, don't 
think your dog needs a lot of space it doesn't and you put your hand under your leg and pull your dog through then you step forward and you can put Z weave 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 okay good girl thank you so I'll do that again I need come here you want a little bit of uh, reward whatever you use sit in both hands to start with so I'm, I'm going to pretend she doesn't know how to do any of this poor Zeddy <laughs> you don't mind do you she goes no you're a very biddable little girl these days so remember you've got your dog on your left you put your right foot forward and as you can see Zed does not move when I put my right foot forward and nor should she until I say weave 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 yes sit yes so okay you lure it it's the easiest way to do it you know you can use a toy or food but it's all luring you don't want too much drive for this because you want your dog to keep its paws on the ground so it weaves in and out if you start having jumping up especially if you're a guy you're going to get injured I've had my own amount of bruises from uh, dogs jumping up, teaching to weave. That's all I'm going to say about that. We don't really want to go down that road, do we? Now, once you've mastered the forward weave, you then go to the reverse weave, which means you're walking backwards. I mean, you can do it so that you're walking forwards and your dog's going backwards, but, you know, let's not get too complicated. So I've got to work out my legs here because yeah, it's the opposite, obviously. Now, so can you just come round here a minute? Come to heel. No, come to heel. And right, now you've got your dog there. Z, back, back weave, back weave, back weave, back weave, back weave, back weave. Back weave. No, 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 no. Yeah. Right, so we go forwards. It's better to do. Good girl. Good girl. And when you get there, with your left leg forward and your dog on the left, you go back weave, back weave, back weave, back weave. And it's important to get yourself into position because once your dog, hold on, once your dog, get out of my pocket, you thievy little Arab. Once your dog has learned to do the weave, going and, and you've taught it to back up, because you're going to have to teach the back up before you can do the reverse weave. You know, it's like everything else in dog training, it is a process. And, you know, getting said to, to do figure eight weaves and front weaves and back weaves, you know, she, she's over two. But, you know, I kind of write off the first year because of the behavior modification and all the other problems I had to deal with with Zed. So, you know, I, I, I didn't put her into like intensive training really until she was one. So, you know, if you think about it, she's, she's only been doing intensive training for just over a year. And in that time, I mean, now she's doing tracking and everything. So she, she, she's a good all-round dog, aren't you? You can lick on that hand for a minute. So, you know, there's something else for you to um, try there. It's make sure you, if you're having a drink, it's not a good idea to do it because you will fall over. Um, depending on the size of the dog, you might have to lift your leg. But I find swinging your leg out to the side to avoid your dog's bum, um, you know, or your dog's butt. It is actually easier, you know, because obviously with my back and that I have to be a bit careful. So um, teaching on weave poles is a lot easier, but there you go. Something else for you. Come on then, sit. And wavy, wavy, please like, share and subscribe. Wow, look at that. There was actually a paw that we could see. I've got such wet hands. 